My name is Austin Palfrey, and for Assignment 1, Inhabiting, I was assigned the Ethnographic Perspective, Number 3, Creative Classes, Learning and Mandated Innovation. This scenario explains autonomous vehicles and robots have replaced my position. In short, I have been de-skilled from the workforce. It is now time to learn a new skill through Skillshare or LinkedIn Learning. Once I have developed this skill, I will then make an account on meetup.com and teach this skill to others while considering and researching programs, opportunities within my environment. To begin, let's define de-skilling. Wiki explain it is the process by which skilled labor within an industry or economy is eliminated by the introduction of technologies operated by de-skilled or unskilled workers. Considering this definition, I created a scenario of a person with three skills. It is important to continuously learn in the workforce to maintain a competitive skill set that is not easily replaced by technology or new processes that require fewer skilled workers. As the process depicts, over time, if one does not continuously learn and develop new skills, their ability to maintain a competitive skill set diminishes and the job is easily replaced, leaving them without work. In the article, De-Skilling and Downsizing, Some Thoughts About the Future of Technical Education, it is explained that technological development can lower the cost of labor absolutely or relative to its productivity. To continue this discussion of remaining competitive in the workforce, let's consider the opportunities in which we can learn such skills. To earn skills, we need to offer up a few variables, time and money. While some investments do not require much money or any at all, the investments that do require both time and money offer more skills typically. And as you pay more and invest more, the return of skills typically increases as well. For my skill, I chose to research and learn more about photography, which is something I use at work as a tool for communicating various aspects of architecture. After watching many videos, I consider narrowing down to cell phone photography in particular, which is typically the technology many of us use. I then wrote down a curriculum that would offer a basic and fundamental skill set for the participants to build upon. I created my Meetup account and watched the people begin joining the group. I plan to host the Meetup at Lawrence Tech next week in the architecture building with a limited number of people. The class will consist of a short presentation and demonstration followed by application of the photography skills on campus. If there is enough time, I hope to do a few slight critiques with the class of some photographs shot during the session.